Hello the folks, it is TRJ Gaming and welcome to a new edition of the Retro Sunday series where we go back and play games from the past, explore games from the Xbox 360 era, the PS2 era and early, even earlier than that. But today is time for a game that I suppose you could say isn't really retro but it is quite a momentous game uh, because I believe it was the first game to be released uh, alongside a Rugby World Cup developed by HB Suit Studios and published by 505 Games. This is Rugby World Cup 2011. Uh, it's just a few facts about the game to get us kicked off. Uh, it is a Rugby Union game, a video game developed by HB Studios and 505 Games. The official video game for the Rugby World Cup of 2011, the seventh World Cup uh, to be taken and was released both on the PS3 and Xbox 360 uh, in September of 2011. Uh, well, no Rugby Union game had actually been released since Rugby 08, which was developed by HB Studios, the same as this game, uh, and that was released on the EO Sports uh, label. I'm, I'm obviously doing a Rugby uh, Retro Sundays because it is the start of the Rugby World Cup, so I thought it'd be brilliant timing to do that. But I had done a Retro Sundays before I'm on the EA title, so I thought I'm going to go a little bit mod, a little bit newer uh, and go in with this game because it is still eight, eight years old. Uh, but there are a few modes on the game, as you can see now. We've got the full tournament mode, international test, warm-up tour, uh, and place kick shootouts. So the game features all 20 international teams competing in uh, the Rugby World Cup, but only 10 of the teams are officially, officially licensed. Uh, and basically, the All Blacks and the Wallabies, so New Zealand and Australia, were unlicensed on the game because they had an exclusive deal with rival game Rugby Challenge. So what we're doing today is just play an international test Um it is England against Tonga today, isn't it, in the World Cup? So it's that that's their first game, and great. Tonga is a team we can have uh, in the game. Now, I'll admit, I'm not the biggest uh, rugby fan. I never really have been. We'll play at Twickenham, even though it's uh, World Cup, but um, World Cup in Japan. But I've never been a massive rugby fan. But for some reason, I got this game on release. I don't know why, eight years ago. But it was a game I played and played and played and played and really, really enjoyed. Uh, I think we're just going to go with the, uh, the squad that's picked. As I said, I'm not a massive rugby fan, uh, and I don't know much about rugby, I'll admit, but it's been a long time since I have played this game. Well, I'll tell you what's on the back of the cover. Play your part in the sporting event of 2011. Be right to the centre of the mud, sweat, tears and passion as you take your team through the pool and knockout stages right the way to the final. Back your team, take on your hardest rivals and fight every inch for your right to probably lift the Webb Ellis Cup. This is just an exhibition match, but of course this was based off the, uh, the official 2011 Rugby World Cup. Now, there was a game on the Xbox One for the 2015 uh, Rugby World Cup. For some reason, I haven't got that. I don't know why I haven't bothered uh, buying that at some point. Uh, but there was meant to be a game for this World Cup. It was announced by Big Ben, uh, which released a lot of kind of... Um, I'm trying to get say this tactfully, but games that are for um, uh, maybe smaller... Um, smaller sizes and smaller reaches of people, um, Big Ben do, and they said they were going to release one for the 2019 Rugby World Cup back in May. 2019 Rugby World Cup's here, and they haven't released one, but we need to have a quick look at the controls, because I cannot remember this whatsoever. I think the controls uh, are on here. I've got them in the instruction manual. Remember them? The instru instruction manuals? There we go, but this is quite nice. Uh, so, sprints, yep. Yeah. I think that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, change player, is how do you change player? That's that's probably the most important thing. Change player LT. Right, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to this. It's five minute halves for a ten minutes match. Let's go. Right, here we go. Young's on the ball. Goes to flood. Oh, this is bringing back so many memories already. Get the ball. That's going to Mark Cueto. It was one of the big players I remember in my uh, career mode. That's Mike Tingle and Dean Ashton. We've got a really good run going on here. Just pass it to the other player. That's probably a little bit too early. Easter, not the best player to be using in this situation. But I think we're going to get our first try. Touchdown. And we have. We've got a try. Uh, we're on medium difficulty. And that was a pretty nice move, to be fair. Only four minutes into the game. And Nick Easter, the number eight, takes that first try of this exhibition match against Tonga. And in real life, I think we'll beat Tonga today. As you've seen, they're not the best team, but there's been a few shocks. Uh, there always will be in the Rugby World Cup. I did watch some of the New zealand South Africa game yesterday, which New Zealand, of course, won. New Zealand did win this 2011 World Cup. Um, we'll come back a little bit, just so... I think it must be it must be Johnny, mustn't it? Is it Johnny? No, it's Flood. Oh, well, Johnny must not be in the team. Now, this is always a little bit awkward, these are. They're pretty tough, but as long as you get it in there, I think you're okay. And it wasn't the hardest of... Uh, conversions to get so flood is it it's toby flood isn't it i think it's toby flood yeah the player from eight years ago but a nice conversion there and we're off the mark with our first seven points this exhibition match 
Now, I'm wondering if any of you guys have played these games. I don't know if they were popular or not, really. I know I played them a lot, but I know that a lot of people didn't necessarily have them. Uh, but this has been fairly easy so far. I mean, as I said, Tonga not the best team. And uh, I don't know. Is there any, Is there any? Um, well, inclination for you guys to maybe watch a full Let's Play of this? Um, because if there's not going to be a 2019 Rugby World Cup game, it'd be great just to reminisce and maybe do... Uh, a playthrough of the World Cup on this. Let me know if you want to see that, because that would be something I'd do pretty imminently. That's a good uh, move from Tyndall. I think he's going to get tucked down here, but at least we made progress, uh, and we should get this ball back. I just love the tactical nature of rugby. I I'm not a fan of the, I won't say brutality, but the aggressiveness of rugby, and I can't really watch that many games. I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, need to reconnect the controller. Anybody who watched my videos will know I've got a dodgy plug and plug and play kit for the Xbox 360, uh, and I'm too tight to get a new one. Oh, no. Oh, I clicked A to try and get back into it there. But they've actually got the ball. And that will go straight back to Foden. I was going to say it's Phil Foden. But that's the Manchester City player, isn't it? Oh, dear. But, yeah, if you want to see a full-blown Let's Play, this, you'll have to let me know pretty quickly. That's a great move by Ashton. I think he's going to be tucked down by the last player here. But we're gonna, we've got past him. Come on, Ashton. You've got the legs. In the middle. In the middle. And that is our second try of the match. We're doing really well so far against Tonga. Uh, against Tonga. The wing player, Chris Ashton. Good player. And we've got our second try of the match. Really nice move. And, uh, yeah, that was a good stuff. Might as well bring it back to here. Pretty straight conversion. If we don't get this one, we should be pretty embarrassed. Might as well play it straight. We've got most chance to get it then. And that is pretty sweet. That should be fine. And that's Toby Flood's second conversion of the match. Fairly easy, of course. But uh, I think we're exactly 14 minutes in. And we are 14 points up. Of course, the weird thing with rugby is, is that can change very, very quickly. It's not like football can charge really quickly in rugby but we've had the upper hand definitely so far oh get that get that bit scrappy there part oh dear this isn't good this is not good luckily we've got there we need to get out of this area straight away if we can that's Hartley oh come on Moody's got it good stuff so Toby Flood just needs to get out of this area we're okay as long as we're not too far in the uh, the area where they can get a touchdown come on Tyndall good stuff right to Kuwaito Kuwaito's really got the legs but he's not going to get there because Moody's here. Moody's not the quickest. But we're going to come a little bit in line now. Just to make sure that he doesn't go out for a line out if we got tucked down there. Young's flood. Come on. Ho uh, it's hype, isn't it? Hype, yeah. He's got a good chance and he's got past the defender. He's not been great. And that's a third try for us. We're doing really well in this match. Maybe against a uh, bigger opponent we would struggle quite a bit. But against Tonga we are really flying here at the start of this match. Hopefully it's exactly like that in today's match in real life. It's happening before this comes out. It's happening at 11.15. Of course, it's uh, a Japanese World Cup. So, for us in the UK, it's pretty nasty. But it works both ways, of course, if the World Cup's in Europe, etc. But this is the first World Cup, I believe, to be... Oh, I think the first World Cup to be in Asia, I think. Uh, it's gone outside of its regular zone. It's nice for it to be held somewhere else. I quite like that. And uh, the stadiums look quite nice. Just to show about uh, the times that the matches have to be watched. But a very good start from us here. And, yeah, I'm really reminiscing. This has been a great... Uh, Experience Mark Kuwaiti is pretty dangerous. They've actually got to it straight away. They've got to it straight away. That's pretty good of them. And um, we're going to struggle to win this back. But we uh, have conceded a penalty for foul play in the Rook. Too aggressive there. And they are going to try and take the conversion on it looks like here. To get three points to get them started. Just the fact Kuwaiti didn't get to that. And their opposition play did really well just to nestle him off the ball. And that should be a nice conversion. And that is Tonga's first point of the game. Shouldn't have really give away that penalty. That now gives Tonga a little bit of momentum to play with. We'll have to see how we get on. Also, if anybody's got the Rugby World Cup 2015 game, I'd love to know what uh, what it's like compared to this. Of course, the first one on the Xbox One, the only one on the Xbox One and PS4 platforms, they're going to win this back, so we need to be get our defensive on a little bit now. We haven't done much defensive so far. We're going to struggle to win it back. As is usual, the uh, team in possession usually do the better. And come on, Foden, get to that before it gets to a line-out. We don't really want a line-out, particularly in that position, and it is going to be a line-out. Right, here we go. Line outs are pretty tricky. If I remember rightly, hang on. Let me just line out to defend him, throw to front. But I'm sure the player has to jump up as well. Am I right? No, the player, I think that must be on the, the old games then. So we're going to go to the middle. Yes, we're right. Okay, we're all right there. No, on the old games, it was really nasty because you had to actually pick up the ball. Uh, you had to do it in kind of combination. This isn't good. This isn't good. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yes, come on, Hype. Thank God it was someone with the legs that we'd got on the ball there. Doesn't matter. We've been tucked down there. Oh, it's a penalty for uh, for us. They were handling the ball in the rook. We're just going to take a quick, quick penalty there. No uh, real advantage by playing anything ridiculous. Oh, another penalty. 
Oh, get them out of the area. Come on, mate, get up. Come on, we've got a chance. This is really tight now, but come on, Mike Tindall on the ball. Do you remember Mike Tindall? Probably one of the most famous players for non-rugby fans, massively like myself. It's cut inside. It's okay, it's okay. Could have given the wall to somebody else there, but it's a little bit of touch and go in that situation. But we've got Ashton on the ball, and uh, probably wasn't the best decision to pass it to, to Dean Ashton there. Tindall could have gone a little bit further. It was flood, actually, not Tindall. And Hapes ran through the defence. Can he get past the last one? No, he can't. Not for now. We're building up quite nicely. And they've got the ball. We didn't get there early enough that time. Nearly coming to the end of the first half now. And they're going to try for another line out. But quite out now. Can't, can't, can't quite get there. Well, this is just purely to try and get it out of their half, basically. Which I don't blame them for. Right, come on, Youngs. Got it out. Nice flood. Easter. Oh, yes. It's gone to Mike Tindall. That's great. Hasn't really got the legs, but can he get past the last defender? Not quite. We are getting close, and they've got it again. Come on. Duke Moody's picked it up. Hartley, get it. I think Sheridan's got to it. Sheridan won't have had much impact so far. The number one, I think. Ashton, right time. Brilliant to Easter. He got to try earlier, and there's, there's just one player on the line. I didn't think there was anybody there. Oh, dear. This is intense. Youngs. Well, we could just go for the three points, but I'm not that confident. Tindall's through. Tindall's through, and it's a finish. He's got it. Mike Tindall gets the five points. The centre. Number 13, I think it's been four tries for four different players so far. It's been really tough since Tonga got that try. Uh, well, I didn't get the try, did they, actually? They got the conversion for the three points. But we've worked. Really nice build-up play. And uh, we've got the try. That was pretty nasty, that challenge was. But Mike Tindall finished it off. The Tonga defender, nowhere near him. And uh, we've got another chance for another two points here from the conversion to make it 28 points to three at the end of this first half. A brilliant advantage, but not an unassailable one. And Flood finishes it. Fairly easy conversions we've had so far. And that was probably one of the easiest so far. We've tried to get it fairly central. Uh, but there will be times against this team where we'll have to go pretty wide. And that makes the conversions a little bit trickier. But I'd rather have the try. But uh, end of the half, end of that first half, it's 28 points to three. Great stuff. Don't think we need to bring anybody else on. We're quite all right. And it's going to be... Is it Toby Flood? Yes, it is Toby Flood with the... Uh, with the start of this half. We're going to bring Johnny Wilkinson on at some point. I don't know why he didn't start the game, to be honest. But they're desperate just to get it out of their own half. Which is understandable. It's gone out for the line-out. We've been pretty successful with these so far. And I thought we might have a chance to play a quick line-out. But not quite there. We're going to go to the middle again. Right, I was just making sure... Yeah, it's a bit confusing with the way the ball goes. But look at this. We've ran through the defence. Oh, that would have been a brilliant try from Quato if you got there. But actually, they've got the ball off us now. It's always weird when you're on the when you're on the opposite side. Um, obviously the controls a little bit different. Come on, Foden! Oh, don't touch down in there. Back to say that could be pretty dangerous. Get out of there! Get out! Oh, Flood's touched it down. Oh, defensive touchdown, and now we have our first scrum of the match. Oh well, uh, they're going to have it. They've got it. It's an offensive one. Come on, get there, get there. This is this is going to be tricky to avoid them getting a try now. They're going to go for the three points, aren't they? They are going to go for the three points, but it's gone out. 22 metre drop out for us, which is quite all right. We're just going to blast it up the pitch. Great stuff from Toby Flood. Get it out of there. I can't believe they didn't get a try out of that, but uh, control just connected again. I think I will invest with a new rechargeable battery pack for Christmas, but that's a good tackle from Hype. Oh, we're not going to get this back, are we? No. They're going for the kick again. Get that flood, get that. Yes, he's got it. Good stuff, flood. Right, to Hype. Good run through. Is there a defender back? Yes, there is. There's one back. He's been took down as Hype. Come on, Ashton. He's running through. We've got the angle. We can come back to the middle. It's going to be an easy try. And we extend the advantage in this game against Tonga. If it goes anything like this in real life today, I'll be very, very happy with that result. But cracking stuff. A really good offensive move. It worked right from the back, really, uh, from that kick that they got. I think it was... Who was it that got it? Was it Flood who picked it up? Really nice pickup, avoided it going out for the liner. And from then, it was a really nice offensive move. And we should get another two points here to add to what is a really good advantage in this match. 35 points to three. And Tonga look like they're out of this. But never say never. Really nice conversion. As I said, they've been fairly simple. But at this point, we should make sure we get the advantage, don't we? This game, actually, I think it just really plays very well. It's, uh, it's presented very well. It plays very well. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Can we get there? Yes, we can. Is it LB? To... Oh, blimey. That's a tackle and a half. Jesus. That was pretty nasty. We got the advantage because it would have been a foul. Otherwise, come on, Flood. Tyndall. 
Come on, Kawaita. You've got the legs. You should be able to get past anybody. Back to Tyndall. Good one, two move. But unfortunately, that was gone straight away. As Tyndall, really nice move from whoever it was really there to uh, get that. And Kawaito to Flood. To Ashton. Come on, Moody. That's going to go out for a line out, I think. Unless we can get it away. Sheridan getting in there now. Youngs. Not had much defensive work to do today as these guys at the back. Flood. Hype. Oh, he's not quite got it through. There's an injury, I think, for one of our players. That might be somebody. That's number six. Who's that now? I don't know who that is. Toby Flood. Doesn't matter. We can run the clock down now. We've got the win, really. Should be nice to get another try. Tyndall. To Ashton. To Easter. Just play that at the right time. Hype. He's got the legs. He's got the legs. Is there anybody back? For Tonga. I don't think there is. But he's going to get there. Oh, we just didn't have the legs to get it there this time. Youngs. We're fairly close this time. Should we try it? Oh, no. Well, advantage play for Tonga. We tried to get the three points. Get there. Come on. Oh, well, it was a knock on and they've got a scrum. This is tight. We're just being greedy now. I'll admit, I don't know all the... Oh, we got an illegal hook. Oh, dear. And we've now got a scrum. I don't get all the rules, to be honest. I'll be completely honest with that. Right. So we want to feed it in and then hook it. We look good here. Easter's got it. Come on. Youngs. We're working well here. Toby Flood's through. He's through. He's going to get it. No, he's not. Oh, so close. Come on. Let's take him down as soon as we can. Get out. Get out. Come on. Defensive touchdown we need. Oh, he's got out of there. Fair play to him. And that is a line out for us. Ten minutes to go in this game. It should be all over now. Come on, Youngs. Flood. Oh, that's loose. That's loose. Get there. It's going to be a bit of a challenge now. Youngs. Back to this side. Cole. Kuwaito. Oh, Kuwaito can't get it. Just keep it, Kuwaito, while we wait for Ben Youngs to get there. Flood. Hype. Tyndall. Oh. I we're going to have a chance to bring Johnny Wilkinson on now. Youngs. Flood. Kuwaito. Oh, we nearly got through there. Croft. Oh. This is tricky. Youngs. Hype. To be fair, they're fighting for it at Tonga. Go on, Tyndall. Ashton's been challenged. Oh, they've actually got the ball back. Fair play to them. They've got it back. It's going to give it a kick, I'd guess, now. Unless they want to run straight through. They've got a chance. Foden, very strong, though. Very strong there. Can we get one more try? We've only got two minutes left. We're going to struggle here. Sheridan, really nice tackle. Don't think we're going to do it, though, here. They're just running down the clock. And they're going to be quite happy to get it out here. I think that'll be the end of the match for them. But uh, a very successful one for us. 35-3, to three, a really strong one. And as I said, if you want to see a full uh, play through the Rugby World Cup uh, 2011, let me know down in the comments. If I can get my hands on the 15 game, and then I might do that. But uh, I, I might also do the 19. If they bring a 19 game out, I'll definitely do a play through that. But we're just trying to get any last points we can. We've got the ball back. Right, we've got one more chance. Easter, he's through, he's through, he's through, he's going to get close, he's going to get close. Of course, if there's a foul committed, etc., then that is the end of the game. Come on, Hype's through, Hype's through, Hype's through, he's got it, we've got one last try. Oh yes, we extend our advantage, two tries for Hype, the number 12 centre. Really good try, we worked hard for that, just bombed it down on the ground, really nice touchdown. And we might as well go for the short range, uh, the short range conversion, another two points, 42 for free, oh, Oh, for goodness sake. Three of a kind though with the controller today. This is going to be tricky now. Oh, dear. Is he still going to get it? Yes, he is. Luckily from that range. Another two points. And with that, that'll be the last move of the match. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. As I said, I played a lot of this game back in the day. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it really, uh, really much so there. So I've already got back to playing this game in my own time. If you guys want to see, then let me know down in the comments. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that retro Sunday. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the rugby action to come today and the whole of the World Cup. But uh, thank you for your company. I've really enjoyed that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Match to go in the playlist in the top corner. There are plenty of retro Sunday videos for you to watch. Sorted by popularity to the games that you would want to see. Most likely at the top of that tree. But thank you very much for watching, folks. I've been T.I.J. Gavin. Until the next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.